I use a new AI tool called Perplexity, more than ChatGPT and more than Google in my business. And today in this episode of Build Your Tribe, I'm going to break down exactly why you want to use this tool and how it's going to save you so much time. Hey, I'm Shalene Johnson, and thank you for joining me in this episode of Build Your Tribe. I am somebody who spends a lot of time doing research, a lot of time Googling things, and when ChatGPT hit the scene, I'm like, what? Like, this is going to change the game. This is going to save me hundreds of hours a month, and it has. So then when recently a fellow coworker of mine suggested that I, I look at perplexity, I was like, why? How could anything possibly be better than ChatGPT. I love ChatGPT. I'm a pro user or what do they call it? ChatGPT4. You know, I, I use the paid version. Both Perplexity and ChatGPT have a free version and a paid version. And I'm a big believer that especially if you're an entrepreneur, these tools save you so much time. And they're going to save you, therefore, so much money. Get the pro version. Like it, it's going to pay you back in dividends. So when my Coworker suggested that I try perplexity. I'm like, ah, oh. first of all, I find most of the, I'm not very techy, so I usually find them pretty complicated. But I logged in and I was like, this looks too easy. It is beautiful, it is seamless. And we're going to start with all of the reasons why I love perplexity. Number one, I find it to be a far superior way to search just about anything on perplexity versus Google. For example, I simply typed in, look at any studies related to collagen and the improvement of skin appearance and or reduction of wrinkles. And what it does is it scans the internet and not only does it pull up any information for me, it does this beautiful summary with citations. So I can click and discover what specifically perplexity is pulling this information from. And it's got this really cool feature where I can select focus. For example, it's got this focus tab where I can say all and it's searching everywhere on the internet or I can specifically select academic and just search published academic papers. And for certain people, certain things that you need to research, that's very important. You know, to cite an example or to cite your source as being, um, you know, a, a magazine that's not nearly as credible as a double blind randomized clinical trial. Here's another specific case that perplexity saved me hundreds of hours. I have a Patreon podcast called The Shaleen Show. Uh, there's a level called Between Friends. And there I recently did a deep dive looking at some of the intricacies and nuances that people didn't know about Dave and Rachel Hollis and what led to their rise and then crash, and specifically looking at Dave Hollis's life. And as I was doing that research, I quickly found that it was it was really hard to find a lot of the information. I was spending hours and hours Googling and looking at different sites, and I discovered that there was so much information on Reddit, but Reddit is like really going down a rabbit hole, and it felt very, um, not only time consuming, but it was very negative. A lot of content there about their lives that felt very gossipy, and you just had to read through like reply post, reply post, reply post. When I was looking for like very specific things, like little trails that I could follow to research more and substantiate some of the things I could find on Reddit. Well, Perplexity has a tool that specifically sorts through everything on Reddit and then links to each individual post. So I didn't have to spend hours and hours and hours looking on Reddit, not to say that like Reddit's like typically a source I would normally be using, but for this specific case, it was incredible. Here's another thing I love about Perplexity. It's got a co-pilot. So oftentimes when you're using ChatGPT or any AI, it's only as good as your prompt. And if you're not really good at d writing prompts the right way, whatever information is going to give back to you is only as good as the prompt that you've entered. So for example, I can ask Perplexity, what does a woman over 50 need to focus on in order to improve her health? Seems like a pretty basic question. But with Copilot, it first will make sure that it understands the question, and then it will ask for additional information. So for example, with that query, it says, what specific areas of health are you most interested in? Nutrition, exercise, mental health, menopause, heart health. Now, if you want to skip or select all of those, you can and then continue. So let's just go with menopause and hit continue. And it is finding for me 
over 20 sources. It lists each one of those sources, but then it also just gives you this really clean summary that's easy to understand. I just I love the way everything is written out. I love the layout. I love how easy it is to read. I love that it's bulleted. Like I feel like perplexity was made for me. Some additional things I love about perplexity is that it's ideal for academic research. It's ideal for learning and education. It will take lesson plans and it will simulate all that information for you. It's great for content development. And it's ideal if you are an entrepreneur who needs to understand search engine optimization. We are using perplexity all the time to improve our titles, descriptions, and keywords for our YouTube content, as well as just about anything else that we're trying to improve our search engine optimization, like our blogs. I love the way it categorizes all of my past searches so I can easily go back and look at information so it's not lost. I personally use the pro plan, which is $20 a month. I think it's slightly discounted if you do the annual. Okay, but here's the major benefit of doing the pro version of Perplexity. When you do the pro version of Perplexity, it automatically gives you chat GPT 4. And listen, I love chat GPT. I was paying for that. So I was able to cancel my chat GPT 4 because now I get it by using the pro version of Perplexity, which is $20. So I'm getting both for the same price now. The pro version also includes unlimited file uploads. Now you might be thinking like, why would I need to upload a file? Well, Perplexity has this vision feature where it can analyze anything you upload and I mean, there's so many different use cases. Don't quote me on this, but I believe it also gives you unlimited co-piloted searches. Whatever the amount is, you could never go through it in a day. Let's just say that. And those co-piloted searches are so helpful because that's what gives you the opportunity to really customize the way that you are giving prompts to perplexity. And perplexity, just like ChatGPT, allows you to customize your experience. So you can basically teach both of these platforms, certain things that it needs to do every single time you're typing in a query. So for example, you can say, anytime I'm uh, typing in any type of question, assume that I only want stats, sources, or research that have been published in the last five years. Or whenever you respond, respond for me in bulleted form with minimal number of words and as abbreviated as possible. Now the cost for ChatGPT is also $20 a month, which gives you access to ChatGPT4. And as I've already told you, like you wanna get ChatGPT4, which you can get by doing the pro version of Perplexity. So I'm not even sure why I'm telling you this, but just in case you're like, I don't, I don't want anything new. I already kind of figured out ChatGPT. I get it, I understand that. Um, but you need to know that with ChatGPT, now you have access to some of their new, are they called integration tools, like Daily. Daily is, oh, it's so cool. You can basically tell Daily, I think that's how you say it, what you can describe what type of logo you're looking for, and it will create it for you. It will create this crazy image for you. So I asked Daily to create a logo for my friend Monica, who's really good at saving people money by knowing how to return things and not being taken advantage of. And oh my God, it's so funny, the logos that it came up with for me. So that's been really fun is using it for that. I, in fact, I recently was like, I, I need numbers that look like big gold balloons. And I, I kept searching on Google Images and I couldn't find those. And so I had daily create those for me and I use those, which is amazing. It's really important to get the most out of either one of these platforms, but especially for those who are using ChatGPT to make sure that you tailor your experience. And personalizing it is going to make this process even faster and more efficient for you. So for example, if you're a wellness coach, you can give ChatGPT specific instructions so that it always knows how to to respond to certain client interactions. Or you can also use ChatGPT to summarize text. I love this. I mean, you can paste in pages and pages and pages. It feels like when ChatGPT first, when I first discovered ChatGPT, there, there seemed like a, a real short limit to the number of words that you could paste in, even with the pro version. But now I've pasted in like, I don't know, at least 20 pages and asked ChatGPT to summarize it. And that's a wonderful way, especially if you're a podcaster or if you're somebody who regularly creates content, one thing that you can do is just put in transcripts from your past podcast and have ChatGPT summarize it. And then you record an updated version of that same topic without having to read through or re-listen to your past pieces of content. Just summarize it, update it, and boom, you're creating content faster than ever. I also love using ChatGPT or Perplexity to reverse check my facts. I can type in a fact like 
Um, wearing a weighted vest while walking helps to improve bone density for women over 50. And I can ask ChatGPT to find sources to support that fact. Now, again, I'm very biased. I am much happier with the way it's laid out and the efficiency of perplexity. So if I haven't already convinced you, first of all, you need to be using AI to speed up the process of your business, to make life easier for you to have more credible sources, number one. And number two, if I had to choose one or the other, I would highly, highly recommend perplexity until something better comes along. And if you would like for me to do a complete breakdown of different case studies of ways that you can use perplexity to speed up your workflow every single week, I would be happy to give you more specific examples. And if you'd like for me to give you a full tutorial of how to use perplexity or AI in general, like how to write prompts, um, let me know in our comments. In the meantime, I'd love for you to check out this previous episode that we did on ChatGPT. I will link to that previous episode in our show notes. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in to Build Your Tribe. If you haven't, please make sure that you have subscribed to our channel. We really do appreciate it, Brock and I, and we are very excited to produce the type of content that best serves you as the entrepreneur. Thank you for liking. Thank you for leaving a comment. And thank you for making sure that you're subscribed. It is our goal to be brief, to be bright, to make it fun, and then be done. We're done.